Hello everybody, it's the uh, 11th of August already, 2021, good grief, where is the time going? Um, today I'm going to be working on this larch and uh, it's just going to be an ordinary straightforward summer trimming video so if you're a fan of my timey-wimey videos you know, I'm sorry this isn't one of those if you're not a fan of my timey-wimey videos congratulations this is not one of those so as you can see it's been growing quite nicely but I've got a lot of foliage which is uh, long and straight and boring and also crossing the trunk and hiding this nice little trunk that's coming about so the first thing I want to do is locate my scissors and I'm going to trim off a few bits that are obscuring the trunk line like so um, it's not so bad as you get near at the top of the tree but even so I still like to be able to see the trunk so let's clear it out a little and I also like to be able to see the branches so I'm going to clear off pinch out some of those bits okay that's better so this is going to be quite a rough summer prune just to try and encourage some back budding this tree's still got quite a long way to go to be a, a really credible bonsai but it's also uh, off to a good start but I will come back in and do some more severe structural pruning over winter Some of these bits are growing straight upwards, which isn't a good look, so we'll get rid of those entirely. And I'm just kind of pruning as to an outline prune, a sort of vague, a vague triangle. As I say, it'll get a more structural prune over winter when it's lost all these needles just working my way round And as often happens when your benches are a bit crowded like mine, if you don't turn them round enough, uh, they can get a bit starved of light on one side, and hence a little bit, uh, well, a little bit denuded, a little bit two-dimensional, although this one isn't quite as bad as some others, I must say. Um, but it is something that it's worth keeping an eye on. And remembering to do just giving them a half turn or you know 180 degrees on the bench I know everyone the books all talk about having a front and a back and it's nice to look at the nicest front as it were but um, don't neglect the back of your bonsai otherwise it can get a little boldy Or the tree can look two-dimensional none of which is a really good look okay so that's better. You can see the trunk now, um, beginning to see some of the branches. I'm going to remove some of the needles 
come close into the trunk because otherwise it just looks like little bushes growing out of the side of the um, side of the tree rather than actual branches so you don't really want multiple branches all coming from the same spot on a trunk and it can look a little like that if you've got too many needles too close to the trunk also it looks quite juvenile I think on a, you know for a tree rather than something that's a bit older so just pinch that away I think I'm going to have to wire a little bit this tree over winter as well so uh, try and do that on a nice fine day when I can make a video on it even though as I have often said um, I'm not the guy to learn wiring from but at least I can show you what I'm doing and make a record of individual work on individual trees. And if you're new, um, you may not realize that there is a playlist for almost every single tree I show on YouTube. And uh, I think the longest playlist now is around 10, 10 videos on a single tree, um, but it does show some very nice progression on some of my trees and uh, it's well worth looking at and I always put a link to the playlist in the description box if you want to you can go down there now and have a little look um, or wait till this video is finished then go down there and have a little look and then um, you can see a progression I forget how many videos there are on this tree, maybe four or five. Um, but you'll see it transfer from a little stick in a pot to as it is now. Okay, so that looks better, I think. Um, now you can see the branch structure. There's a branch there that's kind of crossing with the branch above it. But I'm going to leave it for now. Like I say, we'll look at that and make a make a decision when the tree is denuded of needles. I also think when I repot this tree, I need to turn it slightly. Um, we'll do something with the wiring so that the branching is coming more in this direction to fit the pot or twist it in the pot so that this is more of the front but that'll be a repotting video quick 360 there we go back to the front again definitely a little congested in certain areas um, you can actually see it better on the screen than you can in real life which makes a change normally it's the other way around but um, we've got none of the areas as they say a bird can fly through so let's just trim that out that gives us a little bit of separation there but definitely this is a tree that's going to need a good a good shape and wire come winter. Thank you all for watching. Please, please, please do take care of yourselves. Stay safe, everybody.